The Committee on Oversight and Government Reform will come to order. The Committee meets today to consider reporting a resolution to the House of Representatives finding the Attorney General Eric Holder, Jr. in contempt of Congress. On the night of December 14, 2010, in a canyon west of Rio Rico, Arizona, U.S. Border Patrol agent, agents were engaged in a shootout with armed Mexican bandits preying on illegal immigrants. One of the agents was 40-year-old Brian Terry, a three-year veteran who had served as a U.S. Marine and gone through boot camp at Camp Pendleton in my district. During that firefight, a, bill, a bullet pierced Agent Terry's aorta, and he died in that canyon. Two weapons were found at the scene. They were later traced to an operation conducted by the Department of Justice called Fast and Furious. Sixteen months ago, this committee, along with Senator Chuck Grassley, launched an investigation into whistleblowers' allegations regarding Fast and Furious. We became, in, became involved only after Senator Grassley was told he would not receive answers from the Justice Department because, in fact, he did not have subpoena power and was not the chairman. In the course of our investigation, the committee has uncovered serious wrongdoing by the Justice Department. That wrongdoing led to 2,000 weapons crossing the Mexican border that cost lives on both sides of the border, including Brian Terry's. A year and a half later, the Terry family is still searching for answers. The Department of Justice has fought this committee's investigation every step of the way, starting with an unequivocal denial that it used the reckless tactics we now know were used in Fast and Furious. More than eight months after a subpoena and clearly after the question of executive privilege could have and should have been asserted, this untimely assertion by the uh, Justice Department falls short of any reason to delay today's proceedings. 